Hello, my name is Shivali Patel. And I'm Carrie Miller. And welcome to Project Expansion, where we show you how to take your Amazon listings and get them up and listed on other e-commerce platforms. Over the course of the next few videos, you can follow along as we take an Amazon product and show you how to set it up for success on walmart.com. In this episode, we are going to show you how to do competitor and keyword research. So let's get started. So for this set of videos, we're going to be focusing on hemp cream products that are actually already experiencing success on Amazon, but we're going to get them listed on Walmart. So the product page that you're currently looking at is the product that we're going to be focusing on. It's the in motion hemp cream for pain relief. We also have a roll on version and that is this product listing page right here. So these are natural products. They're great for pain relief and any sort of ailments that you might be experiencing. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go to walmart.com and I'm going to search the main keyword. So in this case, I chose hemp cream for pain relief as our main keyword. Would you agree that that's probably the best main keyword? Yes, I think it specifies just enough. It has hemp in it, it has cream in it since we have the roll on differentiation. So what I'll usually do is take a look at the competitors. When we click on some of these listings, one of the things I like to look at first is the category that they've chosen and the category path. So we have here health and medicine, OTC network, um, and then we'll take a look at some more. So we've got health and medicine, medicine cabinet must haves, pain relief must haves. This is gonna give us a good idea of what category we wanna choose because category is really important to choose the right one the first time. And then once you've chosen your category, Walmart will put you into a product type. Now the product type is really, really important because it is going to be what's connected to your keywords. So if you're in the wrong product type, then you're not going to index or show up for any of the keywords that you want because they won't be related to that product type. So you want to make sure to find the best product type. Now, Walmart does choose it for you, but you can get it changed. So I'll show you how to check your product type and then get it changed later on. But I always just like to take a look at where, you know, what kind of paths these other competitors are on. And, um, you know, we've got pain management is a big one. So I think, you know, we, we have a good idea of what we want to choose. But um, Shivali, can you go ahead and, and share a little bit more about what we did to look at this a little deeper? Absolutely. Now, when you're doing this for your own niche, you'll want to create a document that kind of documents all of those category paths that your main competitors are using. So when we're taking a look at this spreadsheet we created for the hemp cream product, we can see that we have pain management menthol, we have neuropathy, we have pain relief must-haves. But then in row seven, you also see something interesting. You have new year, new you. And you know that this is specifically for a time of the year, right? but it's not very specific to maybe what we want to be uh, in for a category. And that's why it's important to go through this so you can really see what the other competitors are using and what's really going to be the best option for you. So for us, Carrie, we chose health and medicine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So health and medicine will be the best one. Now, I think, um, you know, some sellers might change around their, their paths or maybe add new products in different categories. So that's probably what's going on here is maybe this particular product, they added it in a different category um, and maybe they listed it multiple times. But um, I, I think we want to just focus on one category and make sure we're in the best product type to encompass the most keywords. So yeah, we'll go with health and medicine. What we've done here is I actually, on this Walmart page, pull the x-ray extension. So it's our, our x-ray Chrome extension. And what it shows here is all of the products that are on that page, they're going to be listed in this form. So you can see them all listed here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to check off the main competitors that we have on here. And I would say the first phase of this, I'm really looking for specific competitors, like other products that have hemp in them so that we can get really specific keywords. So if I take a look at this, I've got um, uh, some hemp fauna products that I'm going to check off. Um, they have quite a few. We've got buds, pain relief, hemp body lotion, um, hemp cream, pain relief, hemp cream, so we've got a bunch of hemp products here, hemp fauna, seam on, on TV. So we'll go ahead and click all of these different competitors here. And I think we got a lot of them. So um, if you're on Elite, you can actually go up to 20 and some of the other plans are about 10 at a time. So what we'll do is we're going to click on Run Cerebro. So when we hit Run Cerebro right here, it's going to open up Cerebro in a new tab and it has all of the product IDs already copied in there. So you don't have to copy and paste one by one. So what this tool does is it basically does a reverse product ID search. So what it's going to pull up are all the keywords that are related to the, these products. So that means that they're indexing for and organically and potentially even sponsored rank for. So that is what is going to show up here. So it gives you a really good targeted list when you choose products that are pretty much the same as yours. So if we scroll down, we'll see we have got 382 um, keywords. 
I want to kind of filter this down. So I'm going to exclude things like CBD because that's actually forbidden keyword cannabis. And I'm going to also exclude Hempfana and see where we can uh, get, because that's a brand name. We don't want that either. So I'm going to apply those filters and see how much we've narrowed it down. So let's see, we've got 350 now. So we still have quite a few on here. Oh, it looks like we still have some CBD because of this Chinese symbol that's there. So maybe I'll copy that and see if I can see if I'll be able to paste it in here and we'll see what happens. Oh, I was able to do it. Let's apply that. Uh, see if that narrowed it down a little bit more up oh, just a little bit more. And some people did it wrong CDB. So we've got some of that. Um, but there's still some more that we can do. So maybe some things you can do is, you know, phrases containing hemp because you want to see only the phrases that hemp is. So these are going to be really specific keywords. And you can take a look at that and download and export this data by clicking on this export data. It'll export it to a spreadsheet so that you'll have it. Another one I might do is pain relief. And I want to see, you know, how many it narrows down there and at 52 keywords. So we've got pain relief in there. So that'll be a really targeted keyword list. You can download that. And once I've downloaded these uh, these spreadsheets, like if I download this one as um, a CSV file or you can do um, an Excel file, you can download it and then open it up. And that is how I usually sort these keywords. So then once I have done, I'm done sorting through these spreadsheets, I'll create a master keyword list and then I'm gonna put them all in there. I'm just gonna delete all this stuff um, and make it easier for myself. So we've got the search volumes on here on Amazon and on Walmart, and I can see all of the search volumes. And then what I'll usually do is I'll go through here and I will usually just go and delete the one, the words and keyword phrases that don't work for me. So hemp cream for uh, hemp pain relief cream, that's perfect. Hemp cream for pain relief and inflammation, perfect. So you wanna go through these and there's not that many to go through just manually. And then um, you'll have a really good targeted keyword list. So that was using a handful of competitors that have hemp sort of as that base. What happens when we use some competitors that have a little bit more of a broader kind of take on things? So we're going to take a look at pain relief cream specifically. So we're back in the search results page on x-ray and let's go ahead and add some of these generic pain relief creams that don't have hemp involved. So we have this joint and muscle therapy pain cream. We have this biofreeze gel that's still for pain relief. I mean, we have this blue emu, emu, blue emu, original blue joint emu. <laughs> and muscle cream. Yes. We also have the nature's willow balm pain relieving cream. And then maybe we'll add in this, this leg cream. And then let's go ahead and click Run Cerebro. And you can see that it takes those product IDs and puts them right into Cerebro like we saw on Carrie's. And as you scroll down, we have a much broader search of 1,519 filtered keywords. Now, you could sit there and, of course, go through all of these. You might have a more narrower niche than us or maybe even a broader one. It really just depends on how many product IDs you're putting in, what you're selling. So make sure that you can go through this or you're taking use of these advanced filters. And of course, you can use the phrases containing and excludes phrases containing. Since this is a little bit broader, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll type in, let's say, pain relief, since these are all pain relief creams. And then exclude phrases. Again, we'll use CBD. We'll put in maybe these brand names. So we saw hemp fauna. We saw biofreeze. And then, of course, we have things like ranking competitors count, competitor rank. You can use any of these. Uh, this is just saying that if you put in a minimum of, let's say, three, it'll, at least three of these product IDs show up for maybe if I inputted one through 100, they're showing up in those first 100 positions. So there's also competing products. You have your Walmart search volume, your Amazon search volume. This is great to use, especially when you're selling on Amazon. So of course, naturally, uh, the Walmart search volume is also really beneficial. And you can play around with these. If you don't know what any of these mean, just hover over this little eye icon and you'll be able to see what it means. Or you can always gravitate to our learn button, which will also do the same exact thing. You can kind of follow along with us as we teach you how to use all of these filters. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. We had 1,519 filtered keywords. And when I scroll down, there it is. We have 164 filtered keywords. And these are pain relief cream. We see we have the magnesium lotion still. One of the, the products that I added was specifically a magnesium lotion. So 
Uh, that's why we're seeing that. We have Instaflex. This is probably a brand still, so maybe we want to X that out. You can just click that little trash icon if you wanted, or maybe you're even just kind of gathering some data for PPC a little bit later on, so you can still go ahead and keep those in the search results if you want, and of course, uh, add it to your list if you want to create that list inside of your Helium 10 account to use later on for targeted PPC or even building out your listing. Scrolling down, we have muscle pain relief, knee pain relief. I like what I'm seeing here because these are, again, ailments that this pain relief cream could be really beneficial for. And so going through this list is something, again, you, make sure that you go through this process and you're doing this for your own niche as you are beginning to set up that Amazon listing on your, on your Walmart accounts. Yeah. So, you know, once we have all of our keyword lists now, you know, Shivali did a more broad search. So a lot of those keywords are still going to be very relevant for your product, even though, you know, they aren't necessarily specific to hemp. You want to create a, a list of as many keywords that really relate to your product as possible. And then once you have um, all of your Excel spreadsheets, you can combine them all into one once you've sorted through them. And then what you can do is you can prioritize which keywords you want to make sure that are your top 20. Um, I would say top 15 to 20, you really want to star those phrases. And then um, you want to create a listing and make sure you write those phrases into the listing. Um, and so we're going to go into more detail about how to utilize these keywords, not only in your listing then, but you'll also keep the same keyword list for your pay-per-click advertising. So it's a really, really important process because it is going to be what you're targeting. So I know a lot of people hate going through kind of the tedious parts of looking through this manually, but you know, I really think it is beneficial to do it manually, not only because you can learn by looking at the keywords when you, when you sort through them manually, you'll see other things that people are searching for, kind of get into the mind of how people are searching um, and what they're looking for. And then you can write those listings with those keywords. So we will come back in the next episode and we are going to show you how we create a listing from the Amazon listing and uh, set it up for success on Walmart. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.